Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you could update your Samsung Omnia W phone. In order to get started, you need to ensure that you are connected to the internet either through Wi Fi or through your 3G connection. And then you need to go to the settings option. Here, under settings, you would find an option which says phone update. And if the phone is connected to the internet, you would always uh, find a message which says update available, which means that there is an update available for your phone right now, and you need to do it through the by connecting the phone to the system and running the Zoom application. This option will show up whenever you select check on this option which says notify me when new updates are found. So once you are ready you need to connect this phone using the micro USB cable to the PC and then once you connect the Zoom application would start up as you can see here. You need to click on next. It would set up some name for your phone click on next and then the update would be checked for as you can see on the screen it's checking for new updates here is the message which would actually come up on your phone which says an update is available when you get this you can proceed with the installation which is shown on the screen right now once you're ready click on update now the update would act is actually for OS version 7.10.8107.79. So once you are confirmed, here you can check out all the what the update would actually provide you, and then click on update now. Following this, first the data would be synced, and then all your important data would be actually backed up on your PC. Following which, the update would be downloaded and then installed. So this is pretty how you can actually update your Samsung Omnia W phone that's your Windows phone and keep it updated. So the progress has just started it would take around a maximum of 30 minutes for this process to complete. So as you can see the transfer update is being transferred and then it's it's preparing to install let me keep this side to side as you can see it just says the message goodbye so the phone is actually being restarted which is a step six and the application which you're seeing on the pc is actually the zune application Here the screen right now shows that you need to connect the phone to the PC and once you're connected the next step would actually start here. Right now the drivers are being installed on the PC as you can see here. Once the driver is installed, the update would be installed following this. Here, as you can see, it's creating a backup and a progress bar is actually shown up on the screen right now. And it says that you shouldn't be disconnecting your phone to the PC right now.
the backup time actually depends on how much data you have on your phone Now the updates are being installed. Meanwhile, you can read here the what this update is actually going to offer you. It mainly fixes an on-screen keyboard issue to prevent the keyboard from disappearing during typing, which is yes, a pretty good issue because we had this issue when we were sending a few text messages. Next, it fixes a Gmail syncing issue, fixes a location access issue. With this fix, the me feature in the people have sent anonymous information about nearby Wi-Fi access points and cell towers to Microsoft only if you agree to allow the check-in function to access and use in location information. Fixes an email issue related to Microsoft Exchange Server 2003. Fixes a voicemail notification issue. So this is what mainly this up, uh, update is going to offer you. and this is how the complete update process works as of now there is no progress bar or something showing up here it just says that the step 8 is going on that's installing updates which will actually take a few minutes of your time finally the phone has rebooted now and it's in step 9 as you can see the logo has come up which is Samsung mobile And the Zune application says that the update progress is step 10 which is completing the updates which actually means that the update has been completed and we can check out directly the version here itself under settings about It says OS version 7.10.8107.79 and the same is available on the screen itself which says successful update the phone has been updated. Do check out other videos in which we will be showing you similar tutorials. Thanks for watching.